The next focus area for us is, the, is our innovation. This is where our world-class products sit. This is where our community-driven roadmap is and our well-defined products. And I'd like to show you some of the things that we're doing you know, specifically for carriers. And we'll start with e-enrollment. Um, so something, again, Shan touched on this, but something that's very important is the features that you saw released in the keynote are designed inside of e-enrollment. Um, unless they were specifically an e-billing feature or whatnot, they're built into e-enrollment. And we're all using e-enrollment so that we're taking advantage of the innovations that are both coming from the employer side and the carrier side. Again, it's making our software better from both angles. And we really consider e-enrollment the private exchange. This is your private exchange software. Um, we all kind of have different definitions of what a private exchange might be, um, but I think we can all agree that a private exchange includes member choice. You know, that's the number one headline you're going to see in the newspaper, member choice. And then with that becomes, if you give a member choice, you have to have decision support tools. You've got to have a way to fund that through defined contribution. And once you have all those carriers and all those people in one place, you've got to be able to send the data um, to all the different carriers and all the different places that data needs to go. It also, a very important part of this, is not just good enough to have a friendly UI for members and, and you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of those out there, if you don't have a really strong administrative tool behind it. So the ability to go in and do rehire rules and understand COBRA changes and manage complex life events um, are key to having a successful private exchange. And then the last part is the voluntary carriers. You need to be able to enroll not only medical, but also voluntary carriers as, as this definition of private exchange. Very important part of this is if you have e-enrollment today, you already have all of this. These, this is all functionality that currently exists. Now, currently, our voluntary benefits um, is, is typically we've focused on um, large carriers because that's what the market focused on. Is the thousand up is where our voluntary carriers um, you know, wanted to play, but now we know that if you're a 250, 300 life group, you expect to get voluntary benefits in your package. So. To help or to do that, you know, we created the Certified Carrier Program. And to tell you more about the Certified Carrier Program, I'd like to introduce to the stage Senior Director of Data Services, Jenna Coleman. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, John. Um, it's great to see all of you at one place today. And John said the community was the most fun, but I really think that data is the most fun. So I'm glad to talk to you about data today. Um, I've had the pleasure of working for Benefit Focus and with most of you for the last 12 years. And um, in that time, I have played roles all over the organization from product management um, and engineering and delivery and production. And one of the things that I have learned in all that time is that absolutely data is queen. And not only the data, but also the partnership that we have with those folks that we send the data to, so yourselves. Um, but today, I want to be able to talk to you a little bit about that voluntary benefits market that John was talking about. And in the market research that we've done, there's really four main stakeholders in that market. It's our employers, it's health carriers, obviously the voluntary carriers, and also the brokers. So from an employer perspective, what's really important to them is being able to offer a very robust set of benefits that they can have a great package for everybody that they have that works for them. And from the health carrier perspective, a lot of the health carriers are wanting to focus on their core competency, which is health, but they also want to offer that robust set of benefits. And so they're partnering now with these voluntary carriers to make sure that that is a market differentiator for them because there's a whole package that they can now sell. And from the voluntary carrier perspective, Obviously, they would love to have that partnership because they want to get their benefits out there that are complementary to those health benefits that are also in the market today. And then with our brokers, because brokers want to provide the best set of benefits to those employers. And so in order to create that, that or in a marketplace for all of that, we have designed the Certified Carrier Program. So I talked a little bit about that in Ray's this morning. Um, raise customers at the heart meeting, but I wanted to tell you more about what the Certified Carrier Program is. And so really from a health carrier perspective, what does the Certified Carrier Program for, do to you, for you? Um, so one of the things is it offers truly a private exchange. And so now that all your benefits one place, there's one location for all of your customers 
to go online because you've got a partnership with a voluntary bene um, benefits carrier, you can have everything there. And that makes you stand out in the marketplace because you're offering that rich set of benefits. It's one streamlined user experience. Somebody doesn't feel like as they go in and they elect a benefit for Primera or somebody like that, that they're having to go out to do something on paper or um, something along those lines. It's just everything that you offer is right there for them. And it really provides that full cycle benefit support. Just like you have an operations manager today, whoever your partners are should also have an operations manager so that from an employer perspective, your customers are being provided across the board as it comes to data or whatever service that they need in our application. So what's in it for the voluntary carriers, this certified carrier program? So the first is that it's the hosted voluntary products in an e enrollment. And so that provides them the ability to have increased market adoption because now their products are out there. They're not going door to door or calling people on the phone in order to try and sell their benefit. Their benefits are right there in the application. It also has that customer success support, so an ops manager type person who is able to react to them. They can be that single point of contact for that voluntary carrier to support any of the benefits in the benefit focus platform that you are helping to host. And it provides the market visibility to our direct clients. Oftentimes our customers, the employer customers, will come to us and ask, you know, hey, I really want to offer this additional benefit. Do you have any carriers that you work with that you would recommend? And this is a way for us to have that recommendation because we've already worked with these carriers, we've developed the file feeds and that kind of a thing for them. And that way, they have that market visibility with those employers as well. And then also data analytics. And so as you heard Sean talk about um, some of the cool things that we're able to determine from the data, we would be able to offer this to our voluntary carriers as well. So it would be um, the information that you know, people are shopping for this type of benefit, but not this other, and then they can make adjustments in the market to change what their offerings are. And why is this really important to benefit focus as well? And one big piece with data exchange is that we love to streamline data exchange. We want it to be effective, we want it to be efficient, and we want to make sure that we are providing the best to our customers. And so some of the things that it brings up for us here are standardized file formats. So standard file formats are anything such as an A34, the Accord standards that John mentioned, something like that that is an industry standard that we're able to support. And some of the benefits of having that standard is one, the onboarding time. We're able to quickly onboard because everybody understands the standard. Now granted that there are nuances to an 834, not everybody implements it the same way every time, but the structure is the same. Everybody knows how to read it. And that is a benefit for that onboarding time, as I mentioned, but it's also an, an, a benefit for supporting it going forward. Because if we need to go in and do some sort of research, then everybody knows what the file format is, and it's just easier to get those answers for you. The second is multi-sponsor files. And really, one of the benefit-focused best standards is that we send a multi-sponsor file, meaning all groups for that particular carrier go in one file. And why does that benefit a carrier? Really, that benefits them because today, if I were to be sending single sponsor files and you've got 2,000 employers on the platform, that's 2,000 files that you have to receive and process and send me back confirmation reports that you process that file, those kinds of things. But having one file that's sent to you with all of your groups in it, then you have the ability of just sending me back one file and it just reduces the time that you have to focus on that. And then third, off-the-shelf products. So really with the Certified Carrier Program, one of the things that we're looking to do is we partner with your partners, so your carrier partners, um, is being able to work with them to define a standard set of benefits that they are going to offer on the platform. We can then develop templates for those so that the next group that comes on that wants to use them, we already have all their settings defined. We know exactly what the benefits are, what the rules are around those particular settings, and then it's just a faster onboarding time. But the other piece of the off-the-shelf um, products is that it just allows us, again, to make sure that we are able to provide the service as expected because we know exactly what those products are. Every open enrollment, there's not a lot of changes that we have to make and those types of things. Um, so really the applicability of the Certified Carrier Program is across the board. Um, and this is just a way for us to build that tighter relationship with your carrier partners. So as you go out as a health carrier and you want to partner with a, a different life carrier, and I know a lot of y'all already do that today, but maybe there's another benefit type that's new in the market and you want to be able to offer that to your employers. This is a way for you to be able to do that. 
So if you have any other questions about this, please see John or see me, and I'm happy to talk to you more about the certified carrier program. It's one of my passions along with data, um, and it's just, uh, I would love to talk to you about it, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jenna. The ability to offer voluntary benefits to groups of all sizes is going to be very important in the future of benefits and private exchanges. Again, if you have questions about this, again, you have these features. Um, so if you have questions about how to, you know, any of these specifics, you know, please work with me or, or with your account executive or your ops manager.